What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks Jaguars. And I'm here for a quick little news update regarding our franchise and transitional tag that broke earlier today. And without further ado, let's get it. Now, the Jaguars have decided not to use its tag this season, which means we are going to have to get deals done for Aaron Colvin, Allen Robinson, and Marquise Lee by March 12th, or they will officially become free agents. Now, this is interesting, and Twitter has been buzzing all day about whether or not the Jaguars are going to resign any of these guys to the biggest question mark surrounding our number one wide receiver, Allen Robinson. Now, in my opinion, it's just going to be silly if we let Allen, Allen Robinson go, not Hearns. Excuse me. Typical mistake amongst uh, those that do not root for the Jaguars, but uh, definitely not a uh, excusable mess up for me. So, yes, we are talking about Allen Robinson. Now, in my opinion, it's just going to be silly if we let him go. Let's put it into perspective here. He's only 16 months older than Calvin Ridley, who is the top wide receiver prospect in this year's draft. So when you have a freak of an athlete like that, and with how young he is, it's just insane that we have not got the deal done. Unless we're trying to lock Allen Robinson down to a multi-year deal worth a lot of money, I'm going to be sweating and worried about it. A lot of the attention is focused on Allen Robinson, but Aaron Colvin is another guy I'd like to see us bring back. He did not allow a touchdown all season and was able to register his first career interception in the postseason against the Buffalo Bills. And unless he wants to go and be a number one corner somewhere else, which I don't blame him, I don't see the sense in him wanting to leave Jacksonville with such a stellar, stellar cast built around him. And as for Marquise Lee, I just don't see us bringing him back. But if it's if it's done, it's done. Like, if he's back, he's back. Lee is not high on my priority list as far as guys that we need to bring back, whereas Allen Robinson is a guy I feel like we need, need to come back. You just gave Blake Bortles a new deal. Give him his favorite target back. So his 50-50 balls, which uh, if you watch this year, were really shaky. And they were more like 10-90 balls, you know what I'm saying? And uh, give him his true 50-50 option in Allen Robinson. Those type of throws that Keelan Cole and D.D. Westbrook, that he was throwing up to them, they weren't as miraculous. And, you know, you got to think some of those throws that Blake made to Cole or Westbrook, uh, Allen Robinson would have been able to haul in. And speaking of Keelan Cole and D.D. Westbrook, they are emerging. But I don't know how they're going to adjust being the number one and number two guys for a full Obviously, for a full season, knowing that that's going to be their role. You know what I'm saying? Like, this year, they obviously got thrust into the spotlight due to injuries to Hearns and Robinson, obviously, as well. And obviously, we'll have Alan Hearns next year in the slot. And no one in this draft that we can get at number 29 will be able to replace Alan Robinson. And neither is any free agent. I mean, you look at guys like Sammy Watkins, who, whether you're high on the man and you think, you know, he is a true number one guy and he can get the job done, or whether you're like me and you're a little hesitant, you don't think that he's a true number one guy, you know, he's more of a guy that needs to be in a number two role where he doesn't have the whole team on his shoulders. Uh, you know, no one in free agency is able to, is going to capture the magic that Allen Robinson has and is gonna no one's gonna fill the hole that he's leaving in our roster. And yes, I get that we made it to the AFC championship game without him and we are a run first team, but giving Blake an elite receiver down the field will help that young guy so much. You look at his best season ever was in the 2015 season with Allen Robinson and Allen Hearns going completely off. I know win-wise uh, wasn't the same as it was uh, this year, but statistically that was Blake's best season and he had a true 50-50 guy. And, you know, Allen Robinson is obviously Blake's favorite target. And like I said, I think it'll be silly, silly and dumb if we do not get a deal done for Allen Robinson by the March 12th deadline. As for Aaron Colvin and Marquise Lee, I can see why we would let them go. You know, guys, like I've said before, you know, Yan's going to get paid, Miles is going to get paid, and Jalen Ramsey's going to want to be the highest paid corner ever. But <laughs> he's going to have to get paid. So, you know, cutting some losses with Marquise Lee and Aaron Colvin really isn't that bad of a situation. But I do wish Aaron Colvin the best at wherever he does decide to go if he does leave Jacksonville. Nothing but love for that man. Nothing but love for Aaron Colvin. 
Alrighty, guys, that was my quick little news update about our franchise tag situation and us not franchise tagging Allen Robinson. Does this mean we're going to get a multi-year, multi-million dollar deal down the line? Or does this mean we're going to be letting him go? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out all the links down below as well. Follow me on Twitter at Trevon Pixley. Follow me on Instagram at Trayvon Pixley. Like me on Facebook at Trebe Talks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.